Okay, so I'm having a bit of an existential crisis here. I think I found the best laptop in 2025, but the thing is, that's what has traditionally been held by the MacBook Air, at least since the M chips were announced, because this thing was pretty much like the main laptop a lot of people would recommend for like productivity stuff. But I think it's finally happened. This, my friends, might just be the Intel killer, the Windows MacBook Air, pound for pound, best laptop you can buy this year. Let's get into it. all sorts of stuff with this thing. Look how light it is. It's, yeah, it's lighter than the MacBook Air. Probably the lightest Windows Copilot PC right now. Probably don't want to show Asus I'm doing this though. Look at that. Oh, I wonder if I could like spin. Yeah, we're not doing that. So what you're looking for from a laptop honestly depends on what kind of person you are. If you're a gamer, then you're looking for a fast GPU. If you're into video editing, then you're looking for performance. And when I'm not video editing or gaming, there's five main things I'm looking for. Battery life, weight, screen, capability, as well as price. And on all of those fronts, historically, since the M chip at least, Apple has kind of had the lead there until until Qualcomm came swinging. I mean, we've all seen Windows on ARM before, right? And it wasn't the best. It, you had to run apps on Prism emulation and that absolutely destroyed your battery life and performance of the actual laptop. But this time things are a little bit different. According to Microsoft, 90% of total app minutes spent by users are on native ARM applications. This is a huge jump up and improvement. And I mean, we've seen this even with like Apple's M chip. Eventually we got there and now a lot of the stuff is running native. Same thing now with ARM and I think Snapdragon is really Really well poised in order to tackle these things because a lot of these applications are now running natively on this laptop. Just taking a look at all the apps that I personally use on an every single day basis like Notion, Photoshop, Lightroom, OneNote, Google applications, all of that is native now. Even DaVinci Resolve for editing is native on ARM. Not to mention a lot of us will end up using Microsoft Suite for a lot of the tasks that we do and that runs fluently on this laptop and Copilot and everything along with the NPU runs really well. So for most people now, we are finally at a no compromise Windows ARM laptop for the most part. One of the biggest things for me with this laptop is portability and this laptop, like I gotta tell you, I had this thing in Vegas and it was an absolute game changer. So my experience with this thing was absolutely incredible. Now, fun fact, I actually had one of two models of this laptop available in all of Canada. So I really got to put this through its paces early. I thoroughly enjoyed my time working off this thing and I gotta say, I can definitely see this being a very popular laptop this year. This thing is ultra light, it's ultra thin, it barely takes up any space. I was able to work with this pretty much anywhere I wanted to, whether that's chilling on the bed or if I wanted to just kick back on the sofa after a long day, or even if I wanted to just properly lock in sitting at a desk. And the battery life, man, this thing literally lasted me the entire day through meetings, through photo editing, writing scripts, browsing, and everything in between. So, sorry, yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, no worries. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Now the first time I got to check this laptop out was at Asus's event in downtown Toronto and my first reaction was that this thing looks way more premium than the price actually suggests. The build? It's made of something called Ceraluminum. What's that you ask? Well, I'm gonna let Hannah from Asus explain it. Ceramic, okay. aluminum, magnesium alloy. Ceraluminum, it's a Pokemon, look it up. <laughs> I, I, I still don't understand what it is, but Here's the thing, this thing is 30% lighter than aluminum or aluminum, and it is three times stronger than aluminum, which is kind of like insane to think about. It's like almost like Wakanda technology. And the thing is, it also doesn't pick up many fingerprints on the actual laptop and using it, like I wasn't worried about like scratches or anything. And, and speaking of build, bro, like the way they've made this hinge, oh. 
like one finger open, like, bro, that was smooth. You gotta admit, that was smooth. I also quite enjoyed the typing experience on this. The keyboard is actually pretty well built and it just feels nice to type on. But I think even more so, the trackpad was what impressed me. The trackpad has this really nice soft touch feel to it and using it is very smooth and it's super responsive. So no issues there. By the way, you can actually connect this with like one cable and do the whole thing where this is the Apple Studio display and yes, it does work with that as well. But I just have one cable going out and it's like charging my laptop and I get to use an external monitor. So if you didn't want to do that, you could. Okay, so let's quickly talk numbers here. So Intel's Lunar Lake chip is fast, but the Snapdragon X chip on this laptop is actually faster in multi-core performance, which is quite surprising. And in battery life, this thing absolutely crushes. It's hands down the best laptop for battery life that I've personally used like ever. I know that sounds like an exaggeration, but I'm not even kidding. Like even with a MacBook Air and stuff, sure, I'd get like a lot of battery life, be able to go through a day, no problem. This thing, I almost get like two days of usage, if not more out of this thing and don't have to worry about like charging and stuff like that. Cause you don't get like range anxiety with this, right? So if you're like a student or you're like a professional or you're traveling, then you're gonna be able to use this for like your entire flight for an entire day in class don't have to like be seated next to like a wall outlet like I remember that being a thing when I was in university like you try to find like the seats with like wall outlets and you don't have to do that anymore because you have the Zenbook A14 and you're set you're cool also because this laptop is arm based the thermals on this thing are amazing like the way that they've designed everything the fans like they don't make a lot of noise even during full load if i'm like video editing or doing like basic stuff on like davinci or photoshop the fans do sometimes spin up but you can't really hear them i'd say overall like in terms of lightweight and thermals and everything this thing is probably one of the best productivity laptops i think right now on the market and then the other big thing is ai i know we're kind of like pretty much tired of hearing AI now, pretty much like all the tech brands are just kind of just saying that word as like their improvements this year and last year. But in terms of AI, this thing is actually really good as well because it does have the same NPU as the more, you know, like doesn't matter if you get the Snapdragon X, like the one I have here or the Snapdragon X Elite, you have the same NPU on this thing. So you're gonna be crushing it when it comes to AI tasks. I'm talking about like Windows recall, Copilot stuff, and pretty much anything that you're gonna need to use AI for, this thing can do really well. I also absolutely love this like Windows Hello, like this is like the best thing ever. But look, as with all things, it's not perfect. There's some downsides to this thing. For example, 60 Hertz. It's a 60 Hertz panel. And I know we're in 2025. I kind of want to at least see a 90 Hertz panel on this thing, but 60 Hertz is, I guess, good enough for if you're doing like productivity stuff. Like, I guess you're not really gonna be gaming on this thing, which leads me to the other downside is the GPU is not really that powerful. So if you're doing like intense video editing or you wanna do like proper gaming and stuff like that, I don't think this is the right laptop for that. So just keep that in mind. And because of that, you probably don't need anything more than 60 Hertz anyway. So yeah, there's that. Although the screen is actually excellent with the OLED and 1200p, the thing is the surrounding of the screen is like, it's like visibly like plastic. It's not a huge deal breaker or anything by any means. It's just would have been a nice to have. But yeah, overall, I'd say the downside that's probably the most impactful is the GPU stuff. So if you are requiring like heavy GPU stuff, you probably want to look at Asus's other laptops just so that you can get more GPU power. But if you don't need any of that stuff, you don't game, you don't video edit like heavy footage and whatnot, like color grade and effects and all that stuff, then you're going to be fine with this. Okay, so now we come down to the question, is this the best laptop to buy in 2025? I mean, best laptop is pretty subjective, but look, I'll tell you guys this, if you're looking for a laptop that's ultra compact, super lightweight, that will, I almost hit myself with that, let me do that again. This thing is lighter than a MacBook Air, so it's one of the best that you're gonna get. If you're looking for something that has an incredible screen, I love that Asus puts OLED screens in pretty much most of their laptops. Likewise, this has a really nice OLED screen, and you're looking for something that has all day battery life, so you don't get anxiety throughout the day, and you're looking for something that is super clean and minimal in its design, I don't think you gotta look any further. This one is it. Coming in for just $12.99 Canadian or $10.99 USD. Honestly, this thing is an absolute bargain and it really gives Apple a run for their money. So let me know in the comment section down below. I'm actually curious to know your thoughts. Are you guys going with the Asus ZenBook A14 or are you going with the MacBook Air? 
Let me know which one you guys prefer. In any case, I hope you found this video helpful, beneficial, whatever it is. If you like this video, then you're gonna love these two links over here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, stay blessed, peace.